friction measuring friction and types of friction so by how much does this friction reduce by lubrication it depends on how much lubricant you are using and what kind of lubricant you are using how much does friction reduce by changing the surfaces again depends on the surfaces well let's try to measure the change like real scientists you need a device called the spring balance this is a spring balance it has a spring that gets stretched when a force is applied to it when the spring is stretched the pointer moves ahead the reading on the scale tells us the force that is applied now let's do an experiment and see how friction reduces when we change the surfaces in contact tie a string around a brick pull the brick by a spring balance you need to apply some force note down the reading on the spring balance when the brick just begins to move it gives you a measure of the force of friction between the surface of the brick and the floor now wrap a piece of polythene around the brick and repeat the activity do you observe any difference in the readings of the spring balance in the above two cases repeat this activity by wrapping a piece of jute bag around the brick what do you observe let's try one more activity stack some books on the table take a wooden plank and rest it on the books put a mark with a pen at any point a on the wooden plank now take a pencil cell and let it roll down from the point a how far does it move on the table before coming to rest note down the distance now spread a piece of cloth on the table and let the cell roll down again note down the distance covered by the cell now spread a sandpaper on the table and let the cell roll down again note down the distance covered by the cell you must have noticed that when you're pushing a heavy box getting it to start moving takes more effort once it starts moving it's a bit easier to keep pushing it and keeping it in motion when you need to get an object moving from rest you have to overcome static friction once the object is moving then you need to overcome dynamic or kinetic friction to keep it moving static friction is always greater than dynamic friction that is why it's easier to move the box once it's already moving can you now say why it's easy to pull a heavy luggage bag that has wheels on it yes you can try this by using a few pencils and sliding your book on it for this you will need a few pencils that are cylindrical in shape place them parallel to each other then keep a thick book over it now push the book slightly what did you observe as you push the book the pencils start rolling you can also try pushing the book directly without the pencil rollers where do you need more force when you're pushing it without the pencils that's because the rollers reduce the area in contact and so they reduce friction without the rollers the whole book surface is in contact with the desk with the rollers 
it's only the top and the bottom of each pencil that is actually in contact. So, the contact area reduces greatly and in turn, so does the friction. The friction that happens because of rolling is called rolling friction. When you aren't rolling the book on the pencils, you are sliding it across the desk. That friction is called sliding friction. Which friction is greater? Sliding friction is greater than rolling friction. That is why you need more force to slide an object than to roll it. So rolling is easier than sliding. It needs less effort. Where have you seen this at work? At baggage scanners for check-in luggage at the airport. There are rollers that you put your bag on and then you can push the bag easily onto the moving belt of the baggage scanner. The ball bearings that we use in moving machine parts also helps to reduce the friction this way. They reduce the contact area and in addition to that, we have to deal with rolling friction instead of sliding friction. So, that makes it a whole lot easier to let the parts move. What did we just learn? Static friction comes into play when we try to move an object at rest. Sliding friction comes with play when an object is sliding over another. Sliding friction is smaller than static friction. When one body rolls over another body, rolling friction comes into play. Rolling friction is smaller than the sliding friction. If you like our videos, do share them and subscribe to our channel. If you want awesome quizzes, write to us. Keep watching and keep learning with Walnut.